If you could start MHM all over again, what would you do differently? I don't know if I would do anything different, but I definitely would have a deeper understanding of like what I was getting into. Cause you know, originally, like when I started, it was all just about, you know, putting the scene on and having love for the hip hop scene out here and like just being involved with the music. I thought everyone would support me and love what I was doing. But then not knowing what I know now, like it comes with a lot more, you know. Uh, for a second, I was like, I'm a, um, Let's plan it out. But then you're like, bro, let's just do it. I'm nah. like, you know what? He's right. Because I know we'll probably never end up doing it if we keep if we try to plan it out or push it. But basically, that's what I mean. Basically, so this is uh, the Prairie Green condominiums. When I first moved to like the north metro area of Denver, this is where I lived from like when I was like eight to like 12, 13 ish. I want to say I might have been like six or seven. So it was from third grade to eighth grade. This is where I lived. And I know like the last time I did a video like this, it was uh, in Arvada. Basically where I like, I guess kind of, this is why I say I'm from the North Metro area. Cause a lot of people are like, oh, he's from Arvada. But I spent like most of my childhood, like elementary, middle school in Thornton. So that's why I just say North Metro because I spent a lot of my high school, middle school years in Arvada, Westminster, my early years over in Thor and North Glen and shit. But this right off 96 in Huron. kind of waiting for someone to hit me up organically you know what I'm saying to do it because I feel like it's just better that way because then some of the people will actually want to know rather than like me trying to force it you know but um, we'll just do a quick little like tour as far as like the apartment I grew up in I'll tell some little like backstories and shit like that um, I used to that church has a lot of memories too like four buildings um, I grew up in this far one, but I had homies pretty much in every building, but mostly this one and this one. So this building's like the small one. It's like a little square. That one's kind of long. And then we got like a couple other ones, but th I'm pretty sure this is the only one that has like three floors, the one I grew up in. Hey, excuse me, big homie. I got a quick question for you, Dougie. Homeboy grew up in these apartments and we're doing a little shoot for him, trying to, you know what I mean, do a little background for him. We're wondering, I'll give you a business card. You know what I'm saying? In case you guys get caught in a, in a, in a shot, is that cool? Or should we avoid y'all completely? I'm escrow, by the way, homie. All right, brother. Good to meet you, man. All right, Jesus. Brett, yeah. All right. Nice to meet you. Check out his channel, man. It's, it's getting pretty big. So basically, it's, I run a hip hop blog here in Denver, and I spend a lot of time in these apartments. So that's why we're just doing a little. Hey, hey, hey. You start from your root? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You start from your root. Because my, my cousin is now John Elway. John Elway? Hell yeah. You, you heard of him? Yeah. The, the, the quarterback? Huh? The quarterback? No, I'm talking about music right here in Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, all of his videos and all that same thing. Yeah, definitely have them, like, send it to my page. That has, like, all my links and shit on that yeah, business he, card. He opens up for powwow. Well, he can go to Texas and open for powwow and all that, but uh, he, he always does all the events for, like, fucking heavy riders and when they, uh, and what, what's his name, Baby Bash. And okay. What, what's his name, uh, uh, what they called, uh, I don't even know what they're called. Uh, you fuck with the harmony? Okay, yeah. You know I mean, he does all. You know I mean, he opens up for him. Yeah. Man, but uh, yeah, man, hey, that's what's up, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, hey, hey, you know, you start from your, your mother root. No, nah, facts. Yeah, that's you know love. I mean? Start from your root. Hey, ain't knocking. Hey, ain't knocking that. That's love. What What do you think about the? Have you all looked into the Denver hip hop scene at all, or you have any opinions on it? Oh uh, what? The Denver hip hop scene. What's that? The I mean, music. Yeah, like have y'all see it? Have y'all looked into the hip hop? Nah. 
See, we don't got any like hella popping rappers out here. So that's that's the point of Mall High Minute was to kind of help, uh, I guess, create that that buzz around the city when it comes to music and hip hop. Because I feel like we're always overlooked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, honestly, I know you brought up your homie though. Honestly, it, 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 it's from New York. You know, I'm talking about Buzz even came out, and what do you call it? Start from New York. You know what I mean? And then you know, and then the LA. You know what I mean? And then. Colorado, it's right, all right. in the coffee state, you know that, you know what I mean, but uh, like I said, but Colorado now, like I was just talking to my cousin like about like three, three hours ago, man, hey Colorado, man, you know what I mean, hey, 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 it's getting recognized now, No, for, for real, yeah. like like Dallas, you know, the Houston, all that, I mean, it's being recognized now, the yeah. story, but uh, yeah, man, uh, uh, is that your label? Well, it's a blog. It's a it's a hip hop platform. So it's like a media platform. It's like where artists go to do interviews or like get their music out there. You know, like I wouldn't say it's quite a label. I want to do that at some point though. That'd be dope. But yeah, definitely have to check it out. But I appreciate y'all. It was a uh, it was nice meeting y'all. Nice meeting you too, man. Yeah, yeah, nice meeting. You. Definitely check it out whenever you get a chance. I appreciate yeah. it. Cool. If we get some close ups real quick, zooming out. Yeah. Oh. Peace for love, man. Yeah. Make y'all YouTube famous overnight, you know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Appreciate y'all, I don't need that. Nah, yeah. <laughs> you and I both, Dougie. So, yeah, this is the building I grew up in. Um, I lived here most of the years. I think I spent, like, I lived in, like, three different apartments in these in this complex. But for the most part, it's in this building. So, I'll just start on the first floor. And then... We'll go up on the third floor. So we used to just run, run these hallways, just being bad kids, you know, just around all the time. One specific memory really wanted to talk about was this laundry mat. There used to be a vending machine in here, but they took it out. They took out the vending machine, but the, it was broken. So what I would do, I was broke, man. So what I would do is the change would fall. Like people put the change in the vending machine and it was so f up and ghetto. It would fall down to the ground, so I go under it and like just grab change. I'm like 10, 11 years old, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to get any type of money. But at that time, when you're getting like three, four, five bucks out the vending machine, so at that time when you're when I'm like 10, 11 years old and you're getting three, four, five bucks of change out the vending machine, like shit, that's a grip of money at that time when you're that little. You know, you go to McDonald's, get a you know back when the dollar menu was lit. You know what I'm saying? Used to go there, but now the vending machine ain't even in there. Um, the apartment is pretty much the same though. Like you can tell, there's been no like real <laughs> doors open. You can tell there hasn't been no real like rehab projects done or anything like that. Um, we'll go upstairs real quick. The third floor. It's just like crazy coming back here because you just think about everything. Like all the memories and shit. But it's like, it feels like it's damn near the fucking same. <laughs> but yeah, so I lived on this floor. Um, I remember my first girlfriend lived right there. First, first girlfriend. And my, my homie Josh, shout out my homie Josh if he sees this. He lived in one of these apartments. I can't remember which one. It's one of these. So you, you, you have your own? Well, what, you, what, you give them all recognition? Yeah. Huh? Like as far as the platform? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, pla yeah. Pla platform and all that shit. Interviews, you know, yep, promo, interviews, all that. Really? Yep, yep. And, 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 and what, what, what do they have to have? Shit, just DM me and, you know, we, I'll check out the music and... I'd say he's the, he's the major, he's the leading, uh, no bullshit, he's the leading outlet for the, the hip-hop industry right now in D-Town, brother. Really? Okay. Sure. Well, hey, I have my cousin right now on the line. Okay. Right now, and 
if you guys Google him, John Allred, you you you, you will see. Right, like right now. Okay. You know what I mean? Watch. Google jo John Allred. You know. On YouTube or just Google? Uh, YouTube, right? Like us? Yeah, YouTube. On YouTube. You said John. John Allred. Bro, he has he, he has so many songs, but John Elridge? Yeah, John Allred. Allred. A R I D. A L A R I D. Yeah. And Death Row. Check out the okay. Death Row song. Okay. I see it. Yeah, that, that's all him right there. Okay. All those. Hell yeah. He, he, he he's from here. Yeah, yeah. He's from uh, North Denver. Hey, all of his life, and he hey, yeah, he's here, man. Okay. I see the guitar. Oh man, watch, watch listen to this jam. But he, he he writes his own music and everything too. But so he's like uh, he does rock and like he does songs. everything, okay. man. But you gotta just Google it and watch all of his things, man. You know, are interested, or we can do something that'd be great, man. Hell yeah, no, that sounds good, man. I appreciate you tapping in. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm gonna thank my cousin because he seen you guys over there. Appreciate you. All right. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Thank yep. you. It was nice thank you. Yeah. All right, thank guys. you. Yep, yep. Stay strong. Yeah, so this hey, apartment. Cousin. So hey, I lived hey, in uh, 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 both of these apartments right here. So <laughs> apartment 28. The apartment that he was raised in, that's why he's here to show her. And then I lived in this apartment too, apartment 29. So when I first moved in this building, I lived here. And then we moved there. As to why we kept moving in and out of apartments in the same place, I don't know. I just know like, shit, motherfuckers, like the, the, whoever the landlord was and like give a bunch of deals and just, I don't know. Like it was just struggling, going back and forth. So I was so young, I probably didn't, I didn't really understand, honestly. But yeah, those, that's where I mainly stayed in, in these apartments. What do you think you'd be doing if you weren't doing this? Probably real estate, honestly. When I first started Mile High Mini, I kind of just started getting into real estate too. And I was trying to like figure out what I was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like, but the thing with the real estate is like, it was all about money. It, it was hard to find, be passionate about that. But Mile High Mini, it was like, I got love for Colorado, I got love for hip hop, I got love for Denver culture, shit like that. So it was just... Came natural. Yeah, it was easier to do that than like do real estate, even though there's more money in real estate. So I'll probably be doing that, but who knows? I mean, I, my first original dream was really to be a basketball star like every other kid, you know? And then um, obviously <laughs> realized I wasn't going pro at some point and then um, Shit, I don't know. I've had my fair share with, you know, a bunch of shit, so. If you, if you, could, if you could start MHM all over again, what would you do differently? I don't know if I would do anything different, but I definitely would have a deeper understanding of, like, what I was getting into. Because, you know, originally, like, when I started, it was all just about, you know, um, putting the scene on and having love for the hip hop scene out here and like just being you know what I'm saying like involved with the music I thought everyone would support me and love what I was doing but then not knowing what I know now like it comes with a lot more you know uh, people recognizing you like I can't even go to the gym now without getting noticed and it's fun but you just never know like who's for you and who isn't you know I, I didn't realize like how deep the street politics would get, uh, and you know, people would try to intertwine it with the blogging and the music and shit. So I don't know if I would do anything different. In fact, I'd say I, I wouldn't do anything different, but I just would understand what I, would, I was getting myself into. Cause I was thinking it's gonna be all love and you know what I'm saying? It's just not like, and, and it's a lot on your mental. There's a lot of times where I'm just like, I get depressed or I'm just like, Man, should I just go get a regular job? I, you know what I'm saying? It's, so it's just tough, like, dealing with, I guess, the pressure of being white in Hip Hop 1 and then being, like, the hottest hip hop blog, and not even in, just in Colorado, but in this region. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what I would say.
I just remembered a quick story too. Um, Let's so, just jump into it. So uh, we'll just use this part of the building as an example. But it really happened on the opposite side where we came in, where those other dudes were at. Um, one of my mom's friends, I'm just like, it's crazy because I'm seeing some of these kids and some of these people and I'm like, damn, that looked like my mom when she was younger. Like, I seen the kid, I was like, damn, he kind of looked like me when I was younger. Right. But anyway, so uh, my, one of my mom's friends was hanging out, sitting out front of the building. I was probably like eight, nine, ten years old. And uh, I was with my homie Austin. Shout out my homie Austin if he sees this. He lived in that building. My homie Austin, you know, we're just f***ing around being kids. My mom's friend's sitting right there. And she hands us like a, like a container. It was like Coke or something. It was some type of drug, but I'm pretty sure it was Coke. And it said like white thunder on it or white lightning or some crazy shit. But we were so young, she handed it to us. And we like, she was off something, bro. She was off pills. Like you could tell she was just off the drugs. Like she was fucked up. Like why are you handing an eight, nine year old like some drugs like that? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's the kid I was thinking of. Like that look, that reminds me of some shit I was probably doing when I was younger. <laughs> but um, yeah, so bro, hands us this shit and we're just sitting there like, we're thinking it's funny at the time because we're so young, you don't realize like, how crazy that type of shit is you know what i'm saying you get so used to shit like that that you kind of just laugh at it but now looking back i'm like damn like i couldn't like if my son if some old ass lady that i was friends with gave like my son a, a thing of coke or whatever bro i i tweaked the fuck out you know what i'm saying so when you look back on shit like that it kind of makes you just like look at shit deeper and i'm kind of grateful that all this shit happened because like it definitely i feel like made me a better person but no i even remember like damn they still got that table there it's crazy they found like there's like some meth pipes and shit over there on that side of the the building See, the thing is with this, like, these apartments is, like, I was young, so we, it, it was it didn't seem like it was too gang-banged out or nothing like that, but it was just, like, hella drugs, <laughs> like, crackheads and, like, meth heads and shit like that. We used to play football right here all the time. I remember my homie, we threw him the ball, and he ran into the, uh, the fire, whatever the f*** that's called. And then this is where, like, this is where some of my earliest like basketball memories were. Honestly, all four of these hoops in this court, they, this is one thing I'll say they did rehab a little bit because this was not here. There was one hoop that was really fucked off. We'll just go in there, honestly. So one of these hoops was sitting right there because I remember that hole in the fence. It's still there. They tried to patch it up over the years, clearly. But there was one hoop and then that big one was always there. So I, I remember hooping on that one. And uh, that one was a little taller, but we used to get pissed because if the ball went over the fence, you'd always have to go all the way around and get it unless you climbed it. But we were so little. So, yeah, I definitely remember one of these hoops and that one. Not all four, though. And not, this was not here. This whole, like, the whole basketball court outlined and shit, this was not here. There used to be, like, this little, like, board right here. I don't know where that is. That used to be a dog run. It looks like they took that out. But, uh, and then the pool looks damn near the same. There's probably a little <laughs> bit of differences, but no, those are like my main memories. I did live in this building for like when I first moved out here for a little bit, but I don't really remember it too much. And then my, I had a couple homies that lived in this building, but yeah, that's pretty much it as far as like these apartments go. Damn, actually, now that I'm here, I remember, uh, one of my sister's dogs jumped out that third story window and f died. I remember that shit, that was crazy. Big ass dog was like home alone and scared to be by itself. So supposedly it jumped out the window. I don't know if someone threw her out or what happened, but yeah, supposedly out of that third story window. What's going on? Uh, what is happening here? We're doing a little video. This is probably who, how old I was when I lived here. You wanna be in it? You're good? Here, I'll give you a business card. Okay. Yeah, so you can go check it out. On YouTube and all that. 
You like Libby? Oh, my dad used to watch you guys. Really? Yeah, um, wasn't that like that car thing? I don't remember. All Maybe. I know is that he used to watch you guys. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? That's cool. All right, little man. <laughs> be easy. Be easy, man. Be smooth. <laughs> Hello, Internet. <laughs> That's right. But, yeah, man, this is uh, this is where it is, man. This is where I spent my little years, my young, young years. We used to skateboard right here a lot. We got the kids building little forts and shit here. <laughs> Shit, you hope that's the kids. Right. But you used to skate right here a lot and these stairs f around. But my homie used to live right here. And I remember we'd go play like 2K or Madden or whatever. Uh, back in the day, it was really like NFL Street, shit like that. And then I remember I'd stay over so late and it'd get dark out and I'd be all scared coming home. Cause I was so little, I'd like run down the street all the way to the apartments just to like get home and shit. But honestly, neighborhood really ain't too bad. I feel like those apartments were a little more like ghetto than anything. But like, as far as the neighborhood itself, it's, it's not too bad. Um, this is the the elementary school I went to from third through fifth grade. So I moved out here. It's called Northmore Elementary, if you wanna get that sign a little bit. Yeah. So Northmore Elementary School. This is where I went to elementary school. I'll turn it here real quick. So this school, I think last time I checked it, I want to say it was like 60 to 70% Latin uh, Mexican folks, and then like probably 20 to 25% white folks, and then like another five to 10%, uh, not maybe not that much uh, black folks. So, you know, you had some, but it was honestly like heavy, heavy uh, Latin and like Mexican influence at this school. And even this, this area, I feel like the northern metro part of Denver, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's why like, I really, you know, mess with a lot of my, my essay homies, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of where they're from and whatnot, like I, I like, uh, you know, love my Mexican food, my chubbies, uh, tamale kitchen, all that shit. <laughs> all that shit. I'm gonna take a little quick drive down here and then we'll go back up to where you're from, you were talking about. But yeah, I, the crazy story about like this park too, uh, man, I used to come up here by myself and like, I had a little girlfriend, if she watches it'd be funny. But I remember we used to sit at this park and I used to hoop, there's another place I used to hoop, hoop. Man, when I was at this school, I thought I was the best hooper. Like I thought I was gonna go pro, like no one could mess with me, bro. I swear, we used to play football but then you get older and you realize, but my, uh, one of the girls, it's empty now, I think, that I dated lived in that house. The playground and just like wait for her to hopefully see me or come outside and like, you know, come hang out, whatever. And man, it's just crazy. And I think the homie lived in one of these houses. I can't remember which one exactly, but it's just like memories coming back through here. And then I think I had a homie Kyle, or I can't remember his name exactly, lived over here somewhere. But, um, yeah, that's really it. That was like the my elementary school memories for the most part. And then I went to like Niver Creek Middle School for sixth grade before uh, they turned into like the STEM launch lab over in like Federal Heights. Um, I went to Silver Hills Middle School, so seventh grade, so I transferred. My mom wanted me to go to, from Niver Creek to Silver Hills uh, for whatever reason. So that's what happened there. And then a um, couple more little memories. Um, no stops. Huh? This church right here, we used to get on the roof of this church and mess around because <laughs> there's like there's little boxes on the side right there. See the little boxes, you can get on those and get on top of the building. So we, when we were little, we used to get up on that building, think we were the shit. You made that too easy. Huh? Yeah, way too easy. And then I, I remember this little bread store. Yeah, they used to, is it still open? Yeah, it's still open. 
So you're somewhat familiar with this area then. Shit, That's dope. I go up over here. Oh, okay, hell yeah. So this little bread store right here, it's called the Quick Stop now, but you know, it was walking distance. So we used to come over here to get, you know, drinks, snacks, whatever. It's it's almost like, you know, the Crown Market for Montbello. I wouldn't like say it's as hood as Montbello or anything, but like that well, that's what that store meant to me like what crown market meant to like people who grew up in my belly that's what i would say this store was you know what i'm saying yeah yeah and then i remember there was a new library they built over there i got my first ticket it was just a little trespassing ticket i was in like sixth grade they me and my homies were being all loud <laughs> they told us to leave i said no so they cops I got like 10 hours of community service, got a little ticket, some bullshit, but you live and you learn. Been thugging ever since. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, we were on the border of North Glen, so right, boom, now we're in North Glen. But that was Thornton, technically, like those apartments. I used to go hoop at that church. I guess this will give a good, it's recording. Like you said earlier, this would give a good perspective as far as like how close we are to the city. You know what I'm saying? That's the skyline right there. I know everyone's like, oh, Ma Harmony, he's from the suburbs. He can't talk on Colorado hip hop. He doesn't blah, blah, blah. I mean, he's not from Denver. I grew up right here, bro. Yeah, I'm not an inner city kid. I didn't grow up on the east side, Park Hill, west side. You know, I didn't grow up there, but like, you go 10, 15 minutes, not even like, 10 minutes down I-25, you're in Denver. Five minutes, 10 minutes. You go, you go straight down here on, and I'm pretty sure it leads into Broadway, or really close, you right there. You know what I'm saying? You right on the north side, bro. Like, this, this is, you know, this is where I'm from, bro. So when I say I'm from Denver, like, this is what I mean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying?